Hyper Light Drifter. Pretty good, bro. I've only played 8 hours, but everything about the game makes me want to finish it. Thanks, Gaben! Not really, though! You are the drifter. With sword and gun, you follow this doggy. For some reason. If The Legend of Zelda and Dark Souls had a baby, it would be this game. From The Legend of Zelda, we have the top-down perspective. Exploration is rewarded. Find keys, open shit. Simple way to convey objectives. Bad guy, kill him, got it. Purple thing, find it, okay. From Dark Souls, we have the stamina meter for certain attacks and moves. You got a way to evade attacks. You got an Estus system that you could still fuck up. Deepest lore. The story in the game actually has layers to it if you bother to check it out. Intense boss battles. <laughs> You keep dying, but you want to come back for more. It's good. Overall, I like it. But there's just one. So you're exploring, and this group of shit suddenly block your way. So you have to kill them all. The drifter does this cool sword spin when he wins these situations and after he kills a boss. After some progress, I save the game, take a nap, then reload it. Surprise, surprise! Those fuckers are back. I killed you. I remember. I was there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I don't like respawning enemies. The question is, when do you do it? The impression I got from the drifter after he does the spin move is that of finality. It reminds me of the Beast Knights in Dark Souls 3. After I beat them, they won't be coming back. The bosses sure don't come back. It deflates any sense of accomplishment you got from defeating these guys the first time. I thought that was the point of the sword spin. And what's worse is that the drifter doesn't even do the sword spin when he encounters these guys again. He's probably thinking, Fuck, it's you guys again. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus, fuck me. I proposed three solutions. Don't do this. 